What's up everybody? This is just a quick video. Um, we're talking short, okay? Something I learned today about the Mercedes S550. I thought I would share this information out with some other people here on YouTube because I got a feeling one of y'all watching right now at some point in your life is gonna be wondering why is this happening to my Mercedes Benz? And I asked that question earlier because I had a customer that was literally here to buy this car. He was here at Christmas time and now it is February. He came back today to buy this car cash and what happened on it basically perturbed him from buying it and he ended up buying a 645 BMW CI convertible from me instead. Probably the better choice. Uh, just my opinion, <laughs> just my opinion. But beautiful car. Again, this is a 2007 S550, okay? So we got in the car here today and basically when the customer wanted to go out and take it for a test drive, the vehicle would not go into drive. It was stuck in park, okay? Let me just show you real quickly while we're sitting inside this car. Man. So again, we're trying to test drive it so the customer can test drive it. The guy drove it back in December, but a week before Christmas, he comes in and we drove this car down the road. He loved it. I mean, such a smooth riding car with that long wheelbase and all. So if you own a Mercedes like this, congratulations, right? But he drove it back then. So he comes back today and we got it, cannot drive it. So this right here, folks, that right there, you know, basically all you do is go like that and that will put the vehicle in drive, okay? We looked on the screen, this, that, and the other. The vehicle would not go into drive. It would not go in reverse. It would not go in neutral, okay? It just stayed in park. So anyways, long story short, the vehicle needs a speed sensor in one of the wheels, I guess, you know? That's what I was told. The mechanic came out here, he fiddled with it, he looked at it, he was like, well, I want it going drive. I mean, we were all out here, we had four people out here, plus two people looking at buying a car. We all look like a bunch of crazy people, can't figure out how to get the car and drive, right? Anyways, get online, start doing some research on it, and I'll be doggone it. If the speed sensor is bad on the Mercedes S550, it won't go in drive, it won't go in reverse, it will not let you go anywhere. Man, that right there can be probably a bit annoying because what if you're at the mall parking lot or at work or even at a gas station and the speed sensor just goes out? And then you're like, well, I guess I'm calling a tow truck to get towed and have to spend a hundred dollars on getting this towed to a Mercedes-Benz dealership or a mechanic shop because I can't drive. So anyways guys, don't get yourself all bent out of shape. Just remember you need a speed sensor for your Mercedes to be able to drive it down the road. Yeah, luckily we're at a car dealership. We can get it back near that shop somehow and fix it, but still, what an annoying thing. I mean, what does a speed sensor got to do with me driving my car? Well, I guess maybe that speed sensor actually monitors how fast you're going. That's what I'm assuming. All right, guys, have a great night. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching as usual. Man, the channel's growing in 2019. We're already almost up to 20,000 subscribers. We're growing, we're growing. So please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon, and come on over on Charleston Car Videos and hang out with me a little bit. Watch some videos, maybe buy a car here or there, man. Just get involved, man. This is a great community here, and it's kind of a learning community because I'm learning, you're teaching me, I'm teaching you. It's a great place. We'll see you soon. I love it. Thank you so much. I just got done uh, getting $7,500 cash. I mean, good Lord. It doesn't seem like a lot, but that is a lot of money. 